Hi, I'm Steve. This is How To In 5 and Reviews. And today we're going to have a look at an engine failure in circuit. Now, this is how I would and have put the aircraft down. I've picked probably the most convenient place to have the engine failure, if there's such a thing. That is mid to late downwind. So let's have a look at how I go about getting the aircraft on the ground in one piece. They're on the downwind leg, everything looks good, and then suddenly the motor shuts down. Now one of the mistakes that I see so many pilots make at this point, the motor or the engine has just shut down, they start flicking switches, they're turning taps, hitting restart buttons, pulling on carby heat, trying to work out what the problem is. That's okay when you're at two and a half, three, four, five thousand feet. But when you're in circuit height, you're a thousand feet above the ground. Every foot is valuable and the more time you spend trying to find the issue, the further you are getting from the airfield and the more height that you are losing. The whole idea here is to fly the aircraft. We need to get back to that strip. We're at circuit height, which is a thousand feet plus the height of the airfield. So I'm going to pull that throttle back now, pull the throttle right back. Of course, carb your heat on. So I'm not going to shut the motor down completely. We need to give a call. Overbridge traffic, W3740 is the turning base runway 01 for a glide approach. Touch and go, Murray Bridge. Now I have just given a standard radio call there because we are just practicing going around doing circuits. But in the event of a complete engine failure, that is exactly what I would say. And my call would go something like this. Murray Bridge traffic, Jabiru 3740 is late with downwind. Runway 01, complete engine failure, repeat. Complete engine failure, turning an early base, glide approach, 01, Murray Bridge practice the call and know your calls. I know the aircraft will get back here. I know the plane. I know the wind conditions. I run fairly tight circuits. Some pilots may call Mayday. Some may call Pan Pan. In this situation, I personally would not. But the key phrase here is complete engine failure and still treat it like any other circuit. Look out for other aircraft in case they have not heard there's a radio issue or whatever. So I'll pick it up from where we start that base turn. So we're turning an early base. We're keeping the aircraft clean. We're gonna check no one's coming in there on final, which they're not. All looks good. We've kept the aircraft clean, no flaps at all, because at the moment we're using gravity and uh, that is our energy source. We're not getting anything from the motor. As you can see, that's back on a, a thousand RPM, which is, well, basically idle with this motor, so we've turned our base into a final. We've rolled straight out of downwind base, final, and we're looking for that strip. Now, generally you would try and aim, you don't want to land short, you would try and aim for about a third of the way down the runway. Um, we're going to be plenty high enough here to make the, the runway, and uh, we've turned now, of course, into the headwind. So we want to remember that. We'll pull on one stage of flap here, which will give me a bit of a lift. Now I'll go to the second stage, and we're just going to let it settle, settle onto the runway. Mains are down. Still got the nose wheel up. There's no throttle on, so I'm pulling that stick back, and the nose wheel settles down. And we're lucky in this case, we got in nice and early. We could now roll out and taxi straight off the runway. Jabiru 4818, joining crosswind at runway 01, full stop. Traffic Murray Bridge. Okay, so we've got another aircraft there. Carby heat off, open the throttle. And one stage of flap. We'll lift her off, touch the brakes. So we've got an aircraft on crosswind for runway 01. That means he is above us, he called midfield crosswind. So we know he's crossing through the center of the strip. So we're going to be well clear on our climb out. And of course, the whole idea is to try and avoid problems before they happen anyway. And as you'd know, if you've watched my other videos, I'm a stickler for a DI and a pre-flight every time you get in that aircraft. And when you're climbing out like this, 
Have a look at the instruments. It doesn't take long. You've got your airspeed, of course. You've got your vertical speed. You've got your taco over at your volt gauge. You can look at your oil pressure, your oil temperature, your cylinder head temperature, and of course, your exhaust gas temperature. Really important with these Jabiru engines. If you haven't got one fitted, I advise you put one in. They are so critical with the cylinder head temps, with the valves, etc., and every little bit helps keep that aircraft up and flying. So one more quick look at doing an engine out here. One of the things to avoid if you can is low level circuits. Um, you halve your gliding distance and even if they're permitted at your airfield, it's, uh, it's really not a safe thing to do. Um, try to brief your passengers on the ground during your run up, then it's not going to be a surprise if the motor stops. <laughs> well, it generally is actually. Um, you can have a look at your mags and fuel and try and restart the motor once you're on that base and final, but you want to get down onto the ground. So don't spend a whole lot of time looking for that problem. Fly the aircraft, work out where you're going to be putting it down, and then you can start to hunt for problems, of course. And don't forget when you're in and you're turning that base leg to say where you are turning in relation to the downwind leg so other aircraft know just where you are and make sure you use that complete Clean engine failure. Final. It's not going to be the typical um, typical base type turn. We're looking out for aircraft and there's the runway the there. We want to make it to the end of the runway. We've kept the aircraft clean. So there's no flaps on at this stage. Why? And you hear me mention several times in this video about flaps. Do not use the flaps in this situation. You are now a glider, so you want the plane to slip through the air as nicely as it will. I'll still use the flaps on landing because it's just a normal landing to me. It's just that I'm a glider instead of a powered aircraft. And know your glide speed. So we've come in on a little bit of an angle, but that's all right. And Touch down, no throttle. Just pull the stick back, ease it onto the runway. I've pulled in one stage of flap there as I got closer and let the nose settle onto the deck. And we're down. So, carby heat off, auxiliary fuel pump is on. And away we go again. And we're off. Now, I brought the aircraft in then, I cut the base, I cut the final. Um, our gear is to get back to the runway, nice and safe, and we did that. And one thing to remember, as you saw, I just popped up on the screen there, your light aircraft, and these are very light aircraft, I mean, let's be honest here, it will operate totally different in a glide scenario or engine failure scenario with a passenger on board. You've lifted your maximum takeoff weight. It's not a problem. It's just knowing how your aircraft is going to perform with two on board rather than one. And that's something that you do need to practice and you will learn when you do your instruction, of course. This is how I do it. Your instructor will no doubt add to what I have put into this video and hopefully uh, in some way you can take something out of this video that will help you in a situation if ever you have an engine failure. You want to get yourself firstly and your passenger safely on the ground. You don't want to damage the aircraft. Um, you want to make sure that you have a fun day out flying. And one thing I'll mention, make sure you know how to read a regulation windsock, whether it's five knots, 10 knots, 15 knots, this will help you dramatically if you're in circuit and you have an engine failure as to how far to extend your downwind, etc. Because as we know, when we turn into the wind, it comes off of our forward speed. You would have run through that doing your license. Look, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. But until next time, cheers. <laughs>